but honestly, I think clay is pretty hard to use in these days. Yeah. Heath is the best summoner for the newbies who like to play PvP content. Yeah. Hello, I'm Storyteller. I remember, so you don't have to. I'm already raised all my summoners. Hina, Urbia, Cliff, Soleta, Hiss. So, uh, let's take a brief review about the summoners and also special too. The first is Kina. This is my Kina and I'm using super tanky Kina, as you can see. High resist, high evasion, and high defense and high HP. Of course, some users using Deal Kina. I prefer to using Tanky Kina. And for the Tanky Kina, Moon Legacy Set or Trace of Wave Set is very popular because if you're using Moon Legacy Set, you can using Chicken, <laughs> Fire Kina, and Chicken. And of course, Trace of Wave Set that recovers the destroyed HP, so that's very good for a long term fight. And this is my Urbia. Spec is like this. Of course, she is a dealer, so high attack, high critical damage. And now I'm using Trace of a Thunderstorm set, but I don't recommend to using this accessory because without the season bonus, this is the literally penalty. Yeah. Mana regeneration speed decreases by 50% for the next 10 seconds. So without season, the mana regeneration speed is slightly slow than other accessories, so I never recommend to using Thunderstorm set. And for the Orbia, I think, yeah, Paracara weapon is pretty good because Paracara weapon set effect is attribute, and as you can see, when attacking with the advantages of attribute, 10% rate increases mana. So that's why I'm using Paracara weapon set. And next is Cliff, yeah, as you can see. This is my clip spec, and four of my weapons are shiny weapon and sub weapon also too, critical damage taken down. So yes, I'm using a deal clip, but honestly, I think clip is pretty hard to using these days. Yeah, there are lots of counter monsters, and if you're using clip, maybe you know clip skill. Uh, is too slow, too narrow, so killing summoner with the clip skill is almost impossible without light attribute. Yeah. But anyway, he's one of my favorite summoners, so I setting him like this, Mystic Weapon. And I don't recommend setting Cliff like a pure tanker. Yeah. All of his skill can deal the damage, so pure tanking Cliff, I think that's not good. Yeah. And the next is Soleta. As you can see, this is my spec. And yeah, Solata is also pure dealer, so high critical rate and high critical damage. Of course now, what attribute can deal to weak point attack, but setting high precision just for the what attribute? I think that's pretty weird, yep. And most of Soleta just using light or dark attribute. And Skywing set, as like Thunderstorm set, I don't recommend to using this accessory, yep. Without season bonus, as you can see, just 5 seconds. 5 seconds! If Moon Legacy set, at least you can prevent the first debuff before the 5 seconds, but critical resist? Without season bonus, this is also useless. So I don't recommend to using Skywing set without the season bonus. Yep. And the last is uh, Heath. Yep. Because of the Heath passive, uh, you must set in his evasion at least over the 90. So, as you can see, all of my attribute evasion is just the same over the 90. And for now, I'm using Paracare weapon set, but I think a Beta Tau weapon set is also not bad because he can revive. And also, same, I don't recommend to using Sky Wing set without the season bonus. And just my opinion, if you are a newbie, I recommend to using his for your main summoner if you like to play PvP content. Because he is immune to loot, one of the annoying CC. And now, if he using evasion skill, then he can remove a taunt or so too. So, 2 CC effect is meaningless against his. As you can see, 
I'm already raised or summoner, so summoner balance is not a big problem to me. I can just switch in the summoner, but I think for now, Keith is the best summoner for the newbies who like to play PvP content. Yeah. Anyway, I hope this video helped you guys and take a long look. Bye!